Welcome to my mother's channel. Sitting around doing some videos. Most of the time is happy. Bringing good vibes. Sitting around never sappy. Good vibes from the sky. Good vibes from the clouds. Good vibes from the rain. Children always feeling so happy. Bringing good vibes never sappy. She is so nice to me. Thinking about her family. She's awesome. I love my babies. It just makes my soul go from blue to yellow. Every single day, it makes me feel happy. Being around her, that's just what she does. She looks so pretty, so awesome, so nice. Bringing good vibes, good vibes to your soul. You and my soul feel so happy. Go watch your video. Go, go subscribe to her channel. Oh my gosh, it's boring. Shit, I can't plug this plug up. <laughs> <laughs> Go Putinist. My camera woman is, I'm fired. She's fired. <laughs> super bright out this morning, y'all. This lady was just like, "That's a super cute top." She was like, "I wish I was skinny, skinny, so I could wear it." I said, "I ain't skinny." I said, "Uh, I say wear it anyway." I said, "I got back fat and everything." Showed her my back fat. She started giggling. <laughs> I was like, "Nah, girl, you better do you, baby booty woo woo." But um, yeah, I got to run past my son's place real quick, and then uh, I'll be back to talk to y'all. All right. Mwah. Good morning, folks. Come here. Come see the camera. <laughs> he's getting so big. Look how big he's getting. He's so big and so cute. Look how big and cute he is. Look how big and cute Vlad is. <laughs> Vladdy, you get so big. You're getting so, so big, Vladdy. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast. I was gonna like that without it, so I had to stop. But um, I started my day really, really late today, so everybody was late getting everywhere. It was just a mess this morning. But yeah, I'm waiting. On What's going on, beautiful people? I'm all alone and stuffed into my jeans. <laughs> I just got finished doing the video, my uh, reaction to. The uh, women judging each other's uh, weight, like guessing each other's weight. And um, yeah, I know it's a touchy, that could be a touchy topic for some people. But even when I was at my fattest, I didn't, I wasn't touchy about it. It's just like I felt like I just got, like when I got over it, like right now I'm chubby. So when I want to do something about it and lose it, I'm going to do that. So that's just all I did. I didn't sit and wallow in self-pity or anything about it. I just would change it if I, was, if I really, if I got depressed. If I started to get depressed over my weight gain, I would just lose the weight, you know, so... I don't think there's anything to be touchy over. Um, again, all people are beautiful. If you feel beautiful, that's all that matters. And beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So not everyone's going to think somebody's beautiful. Not everybody's going to think somebody's ugly. You know, the people I find attractive, you <laughs> very well may not. The people, and, I may, and I know for a fact I'm not um, uh, attractive to everyone, even though I'm great to myself. Just like everyone isn't attractive to me, even though I'm sure you're great for yourselves. You know, so there's nothing wrong with that. People, you can talk about something and be honest about it without it being like a hateful thing. Because people are quick to say, remember they used to always use the word fat phobic. Anything phobic, I'm always sketchy of because <laughs> it's just a way to try to get people to shut up and agree with and not say anything about whatever. But, I mean, pe people are entitled to talk, but they're not entitled to be rude. No one should come up to you and just be rude to you. Like, because that's their opinion and you feel the way you feel and neither of them are wrong. Like, it would be wrong to come out there and, and just be mean for nothing. But when you're, um, when you have an opinion and it's true, that's fine. But that doesn't mean that the person that you have the opinion about has the opinion about has to agree with you. You know, so, yeah. So I think that everyone's beautiful in their own ways. Now, what I like for me, I like for me. But I think that everyone's beautiful. I don't discriminate against, uh, anyone off of appearance or anything. Um, I do notice things, <laughs> but I'm not going to, like, treat you badly because of that. I'm going to treat you badly if you treat me badly. Or if I see you're a jerk. 
You know, so, I don't know. Why well, is a penny here? Who put, uh, oh, okay. I was, what was I about to say? I was about to, who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Who, me? Couldn't be, then who? I, you know, <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyway, I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope so. My booty butt baby bounces. But yeah, those are some beautiful women in that video, though. They were really beautiful, a lot of them. Um, yeah. I just hope everybody's mentally well. I'm not talking about just video, just everywhere. Like, I ain't tripping off with nobody. It's about how I feel about myself. As long as you know it's about how you feel about yourself, don't worry about nobody else and how they feel about you. They can think it's great or bad. Regardless, it shouldn't sway you in any way, whether they are with you or against you. Because it's all about how you feel today. So, um, anyway, much love, y'all. And I need to get these vlogs up because I've been just doing random videos and posting them. I need to get these vlogs up. I might do it. But alright, y'all. Hold up, let me get this camera back on here. I had to take it off because I can see it. All right, so, um, yeah, um, so the, um, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find baddies. So I want to do a personality test. I want to see if my personality's changed as far as Google's concerned. So I'm going to do a personality test, test real quick. Let me see if I can find one. A quick one. Uh, and then I want to do a, hmm, let's see. I might have to move y'all a little bit so y'all can see me. Let me scoot y'all over, scoot you over just a bit there so y'all can make sure you see me. Alright, so, I don't know which one I should choose. It takes 10 minutes, good lordy D, I don't want to take that long. There's one called Personality Test, How Do Others See You? That's an interesting one, but I don't care about how others see me. I want to know about my personality. Okay, so most trusted personality tests. Free personality test. Let's see if this is a good one. Y'all want to know my personality type? Y'all like, I don't care. Shut up. Alright, so. Oh, it's already down the bottom. You regularly make new friends. <laughs> Disagree. You spend lots of time. In, well, I'll just do it to myself. Well, should I spend it? To, you spend lots of. You spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. Hmm, that's a good one.
Oh shoot, I answered that one wrong. Can I go back? Oh, I don't know if I can go back. I don't know though, whatever. Um, that's complicated. Depends on what the topic is. You find it easy to empathize with a person who ex whose experiences are very different from yours. Yes. You usually um, postpone finalizing decisions for a long... No, as long as possible. F, no. Um, you rarely second-guess the choices that you have made. You rarely second... No. Do I really second... No, I always... I always don't disagree. After a long and exhausting week, a living so <clears throat> a lively social event is just what you need. Heck no. You enjoy going to art museums, absolutely. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings disagree extremely. You like to have a to-do list for each disagree. Um, you rarely feel insecure, absolutely agree. Um, you avoid making phone calls. It's very, you have to spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are different from yours. Not a lot of time. Neutral. I think in your social circle, you are often the ones who, who contacts your friends and initiates activities. I'm going to just go neutral. If your plans are interrupted... Your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible. Absolutely. You are still bothered by mistakes that you have made long time. F no. I ain't bothered by that. You rarely um, contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. Neutral. Your emotions control you more than you control them. Yes. You take great care not to make people look bad, even when it's completely their fault. Yeah. Dang. That's my flaw. I didn't realize this is that question, y'all. Your personality work style is closer to sponta spontaneous bursts of energy than organized and consistent efforts. No, I disagree. When someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed. No, I'm awesome. You would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. Yep. You believe that pondering abstract philosoph philosophical questions is a waste of time. You believe that pondering abstract phys phys philosoph philosophical, I can't speak, questions is a waste of time. Mm -mm. You feel more drawn to places with busy bustling atmospheres than quiet, intimate places. Neutral. You know that at first glance how someone is feeling. I think I do. Don't take You often feel overwhelmed. Nope. 
um, you complete <laughs> you complete things methodically without skipping over any steps. Yep. You are very intrigued by things labeled as controversial. Neutral. You would pass along and you would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. No. What about me? Well, if they needed it more than me, what if I need it? Neutral. You struggle with deadlines. Heck no. You feel um, confident that things will work out for you. I agree. My gender. They want me. It's, it's, I'm just going to see results because gender could like change things. So I'm just going to see my results. It says my personality type is a advocate. I-N-F-J-A. Associate, uh, let me, I'll bring y'all over for this part. Uh, I'll just let y'all read yourself. Let me, let me zoom y'all in. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see y'all see. Alright, that's what they're claiming my personality type. I'm 66% introverted, which I would think more. Because I'd say I'm slightly extroverted. Yeah. And then the next one. Intuitive. I think it would be more. Oh, no. I think this is right, because observant. I'm very observant. I think observant should trump that, but this is what they say. I think they're wrong. I'm very observant. I do, but whatever. 71% feeling. I will go higher with the feeling. I'm not going to... I think, but you know what I'm saying. Judging. 71% judging! According to them. I think that's funny. I think the judging part should actually be maybe higher. Oh no, assertive should definitely be more higher. It should be higher. Yeah, assertive, I should be higher on that. Okay, this was cool. That was pretty cool, y'all. That's my type. I'm my type. It's like, no, about y'all. <laughs> Actually, a little bit more. I got right here, and I was like, oh, I didn't know. So let's see. Try to get y'all just to see the parts that are important. Um, I don't know that a little bit. Not so much, y'all. Okay, so this is the part that they're saying. I am an INFJ. A an advocate. <laughs> I don't like that. I'm not an advocate of any. Anyway, so treat people as if they were what you ought to be and you help them to become what they are capable of being. No, that's not me. They are wrong. I treat people with respect initially, a general respect, and uh, no one is above me. Um, I treat people with general respect. No one is above me. And and I do help them, but I'm trying to make sure. I don't think y'all can get what I see. Get, wait a minute. Hold up, y'all. Give me a second. Yeah. So, um, yeah, whatever. Advocate. Maybe the rarest personality type of all but they certainly leave their mark on the world. Idealistic and principled. They are, con they are um, content to coast, wait a minute. Okay, to coast through life. They want to stand up and make a difference. Yeah, that sounds like me. For advocate personalities, success doesn't come from money status or seeking fulfillment, helping others, and being a force of good in the world. Oh, excuse me, but from. I have left the butt out there. That's right. 
I guess I am an advocate then. <laughs> um, while they have lofty goals and ambitions, advocates shouldn't be mistaken for idle dreamers. People with this person with this person bleh, people with this personality care about integrity and they're rarely satisfied until they've done what they know to be right. Yes, 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 and yes. <laughs> oh, I love that. They move through life with a clear sense of their value. Yes. And they aim never to lose sight of what truly matters. Yes. Not according to other people or society at large, but according to their own wisdom and intuition. Maybe this thing actually isn't that wrong. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go on. Seeking purpose. Perhaps people there, excuse me, be, be, blah, 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 perhaps because of their personality type is so uncommon, advocates tend to carry around a sense, whether conscious or not, of being different from most people. Oh my gosh, these niggas know what they're talking about. With their rich inner lives and their deep abiding desires to find their life purpose, they don't always fit in with those around them. This isn't to say that advocates can't enjoy social acceptance or close relationships, only that sometimes feel misunderstood and odd at the world, uh, uh, or at odds with the world. Um, yes, baby, this is all right. This is all right. Fortunately, let's go. What what what, what we got for fortunate? This sense of being out of step doesn't diminish advocates commitment to making the world a better place it does not baby baby booties it does not advocates are troubled by injustice yes and they typically care more about autism they tip and they typically care more about oh, shoot i moved it and they typically care more about autism their personal gain they feel called to use their strengths including creativity imagination and sensitivity to uplift others and spread compassion i think that's right Many advocates see um, helping others as their mission in life, and they're always looking for ways to step in and speak up for what's right. That's true. That's my flaw, though, because people don't give up about me. Um, people with this personality type, excuse me, that's my phone, also aspire to fix society's deeper problems. Yes, that is me. In the hope that unfairness and hardship can become things of the past. At times, however, advocates may focus so intently on their ideals that they don't take adequate care of themselves. Yes. Yes. A pattern that can lead to stress and burnout. Oh my gosh. So maybe this is absolutely right. <sighs> advocates may be introverted, but they value deep, authentic relationships with others. True. Few things bring these personalities as much joy as shoot my phone again as truly knowing another person true and being known in return yes baby they know me okay they know me i'm good with this advocates enjoy meaningful conversations far more than small talk and they tend to yeah 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 and they tend to communicate in a way that is warm and sensitive this emotion honestly is insight oh, excuse me this emotional Honesty and insight can make a powerful impression on people around them. Yes, that's why people love me. Yeah. Thoughtful and compassionate. Yes, I am. Advocates pour a great deal of energy and care into their relationships. I exactly do. Exactly. Even if I don't really know you like that, it's like I'm doing, I'm gonna treat you really. I want you to smile at the end of the day. But anyway, let's go on. This doesn't mean that they always feel appreciate in return no i never feel appreciate i never feel appreciated in return never only by my children sometimes you know i'm just being honest advocates tend to act with great thought and care and it can frustrate them when other people don't recognize their good intentions yes this is about to make me cry as a result even constructive criticism may feel incredibly personal and hurt hurtful to these personalities yeah yeah that's right. Um, but F you, but that's right. Many advocates feel that they're, well, I don't take a lot to heart either. And I don't consider a lot of people, but if I care for you, yes, I'm going to take, yeah, I'm going to take that. Many advocates feel 
their fan excuse me many advocates feel their life has a unique purpose I do <laughs> a mission that they were put onto earth to feel I do for people with this personality type one of the most rewarding aspects in life is seeking out this purpose and then once they found it striving to do it justice I give that that I give that that when advocates encounter inequity or unfairness they're real they rarely give up oh my favorite term was what's it all never give up instead they consult their intuition and their compassion and find a solution that is me with their innate ability to balance the heart with the head advocates are hardwired to um to uh, right the wrongs of the world we try i try i try no matter how big or small, I try. I try with the biggest first. These personalities just need to remember that while they're busy taking care of everyone else, they need to pause sometimes to take care of themselves as well. And that's something that is definitely something I forget. All right, so let's go to strengths and weaknesses. Y'all ain't about to know my weaknesses, but yeah. Creative. Advocates are ex Okay, do I need to read all these? Y'all can just read me so. <sighs> yep, <laughs> yes. Maybe I should read it. Okay, so creative. Advocates aren't exactly like everyone else. I know I'm not. I know. I don't think there's nobody like me for real. Um and that but I, I think there's people that have some of the same some of the same, you know, but they're not like me. I know I'm weird. <laughs> And that's okay, because everyone has their things. I'm quirky, right? So-called quirky. No, I'm just me. Um, hi, I'm Karen. But, uh... <coughs> excuse me. And that's a wonderful thing. People with this personality take... Uh, excuse me. People with this personality type embrace their creative side. Always on the outlook for opportunities to express themselves and think outside the motherfucking box. Insightful. This personality... These, excuse me, these personalities know all too well that, that appearances can be misleading. Don't always, oh my gosh, we all knew me. Yes. Advocates strike to move beyond superficial and seek out the deeper truths and lives. True. This can give them an, uh, um, um, an, emo, an almost uncanny ability to understand people's true motives, feelings, and needs. Yeah. And it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad understanding that when I'm just trying to be... Whew, we ain't gonna get into that though. I'll call my therapist for that. Oh, shoot, I can't call a therapist because they need help too. Anyway, principled. Advocates tend to have strong beliefs and values. I do. I do. Particularly when it comes to matters of ethics. When advocates talk about topics close to their heart, their conviction and heartfelt idealism can inspire and persuade even the sternest of skeptics. I would hope that they did. I will hope. Passionate. Advocates crave a sense of purpose in life. Rather than living on autopilot, the status quo, they want to chase after their ideals. Yeah. This isn't a personality type that shies away from big dreams. In fact, I do have big dreams. And yes, it doesn't shy far away from that. Advocates are in this... Excuse me. Advocates excuse me advocates are impact excuse me I'm tripping on my words advocates are energized and impassioned by the beauty of their vision for their for the future yeah for the future not just mine but yours people with this personality type are aren't happy to succeed at another person's expense no advocates want to use their strengths for the greater good and they rarely lose sight of how their words and actions might affect others. Yeah, I really do. That's another flaw. In their heart of hearts, they want to make the world a better place, starting with the people around them. Yes. Weaknesses. Mm, I don't think I want to go there. Ugh. Sensitive and criticism. Mm. Advocates aren't adverse to feedback. That is unless they believe that someone is challenging 
their most cherished principles or values. When it comes to issues that are near and dear to them, people with the personality with this personality type can become dismissive. Oh, defensive and dismissive. That's anybody with any type. Reluctant to open up. No, that's not me. Advocates. <laughs> that is not me. Advocates. Maybe that's one. That one question I got wrong. Advocates. Well, I'm not gonna read these because I'm feeling irritated. No, let me stop. I'm gonna read them. Advocates. <laughs> you honestly. Honesty and authenticity. Yes, I value honesty and the authenticity, but they're so private. They're also private. Yes, so they're still right. They may find it difficult to open up and be vulnerable about their struggles, not wanting the burden of someone else in their issues with their issues. No, no, I don't mind you with my issues. I want you to care about me too and help me. Unfortunately, when advocates don't ask for help. Mm, they may be in virtually held so, ah! Yeah, I never ask for help. I do need help right now, but I don't ask for it because I don't. I'm not a begging type of bitch. It's like I'm not a bitch at all. But I don't. I don't like like I don't like asking anybody for nothing because it's been thrown up in my face in the past. I hate that. I absolutely despise it. If people love me enough, they will help me. But people don't love me enough to do that, so they don't. You know. And people that do love me enough, they do. That's just that. And I leave that as that. But will I stop loving people that don't help me or can't? No. No, but that was a big one. That was a big one. Oh, my gosh. Mm. The advocate personality type is all, is all but defined by idealism. Wow, this is a wonderful... I'm sorry, I got added to reading this. While this is a wonderful quality in many ways, it does always leave room for the messiness of real life. Advocates might find it difficult to appreciate their jobs, living situation, or relationships if they're continually fixating on imperfections and wondering whether they should be looking for something better. I don't know how to feel about that. Boom. Past it. Avoiding the ordinary. Advocates yearn to do extraordinary things with their lives, but it's hard to achieve anything extraordinary without breaking it down into small manageable steps unless they translate their dreams into every everyday routines and mm, and to-do list I got a to-do list I got mm. advocates may struggle to turn their to their grand vision into reality maybe this one's right just by per, prone to burnout I know it's right advocates <laughs> yes People with this personality type can exhaust themselves if they don't balance their drive to help others with necessary self-care and rest. Absolute truth. I ain't even mad, y'all. Romantic relations. Oh my gosh, there's so many categories. Oh my gosh. Y'all want to see how I am a relationship? Love comes more naturally. <laughs> okay. So... Dang, I don't even know if I want to read this. It's about to piss me the freak off. All right, advocates look for depth and meaning in their relationships. And their romantic relationships are no different. True. This is the personality type known for a, known for having a vibrant, vivid imagination. But few advocates can imagine themselves settling for a match founded on anything less than true love. True. Y'all see all that, so I have to move it up. It can take time for advocates to find a compatible partner. Some people might think that advocates are too, cla too, too classy. <laughs> That's it. Too choosy. <laughs> and it's true that these personalities can be can be prone to unrealistic expectations. No, I don't think so. Okay. Um. Yeah. No. Like, I'm very real with it. This is why I'm not in a relationship. I'm very real with it. Like, people aren't real with me. So, yeah, um, let me turn y'all around so y'all can see me, because ain't no more links right now, no. Dang, I know it's about to get this deep, y'all. But, yeah, um, let me go back. Should I go back? No, I'm not going to go back and break all these down. But I kind of said what I wanted to say. Um, yeah, I'm not unrealistic. People aren't real, unreal. People are unrealistic. People settle for anything, which I used to do. 
and where that lead me. So yeah, that's probably who I was. This is that's not who I am. You know, so yeah. Anyway, much love and I'll see y'all later. It is mwah. I guess I'm that would be my thingy, but it's not really it doesn't really mean much to me. Just like signs. I don't I'm not into like astrological signs. I'm a cancer. Um, for those who may be into that, but I'm not into that. Like, I don't care about it because when I read the stuff on it, I apply with so many signs and it's just a guess. But yeah, all right, y'all.